Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be showing you some tips about surviving the harder difficulties in Valheim. And what do I mean by that exactly? Well, now thanks to Hilda's request, there are a lot of ways that you can make Valheim more challenging. What happens when you make the combat harder? I'm just going to show you how this changes the actual gameplay. So if you thought before that armor slowed you down and didn't save you that much, well, trust me, in very hard mode, it will absolutely screw you. Armor becomes almost useless. And why is that? Well, all of your armor in the game has armor values. See this number here, 50, right? This number doesn't change because you're on hard mode. Although the damage that enemies do to you does change, which essentially means that all the balance is thrown off. Playing on hard mode, you basically learn that everything will kill you in one or two hits, so you can't put yourself close to enemies. The next thing to learn is that monsters are your friends. You might not be able to damage them that much, but they can damage each other. So what you want to do is hang out on the edges of different biomes because every time you get raided, every time you get encountered by a very powerful monster, all you have to do is just bring him to another strong monster and before you know it, your problem will be taken care of. Hard mode also makes it even more important to have a lot of food. This might look like a lot of food, but this is like one adventure with a friend. I'm not kidding. Unless you're really good at the game, you're gonna be dying and you're gonna need food. Unless you really enjoy picking and farming barley all the time, then I encourage you to mess with this resource rate modifier here. Personally, I tried it at three times, but on solo, it's just too much item management. It kind of sucks. So what I recommend is for every person you have, do one more time. So if you're just doing it alone, do 1.5 or two times as much. Especially if you're making the combat harder, this sort of makes it feel more rewarding because you don't have to do things over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. You can just do them once or twice, succeed after failing, and then get a decent amount of resources. And just so you don't get the wrong idea, I may be talking about hard mode and how to do these things, but don't think I'm like great at Valheim because here, I'll turn no map off and then show you something. Oof. <laughs> you see this? Oh god. <laughs> the next tip I have for you applies to most of Valheim, but is particularly true in hard mode. But most people do this. They're constantly running around. But then you get to a point where you've gotten to the end of your stamina, and then you get wet, you're not rested anymore, and you don't see your full stamina bar anymore. That's gone. So now you're entering each fight like this struggling and that's how you die this is why it's really important to try not to hold shift until you start fighting and that's it for this video everybody if you want to support my work then consider purchasing your own dedicated valheim server from zap hosting you can check out my tutorial that shows you how to do the whole process it takes like five or ten minutes to set it up and you can access it from xbox or pc you do need a PC to log in to the Zap website and customize the server. And if there's something you'd like me to make a tutorial about, then comment below. I'd love to see what you guys ask for, and it's really fun making tutorials in response to what people talk about. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!